Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use the tire pressure system in a Honda Odyssey van and this will be a full tutorial with easy instructions. Once again the topic of this video will be me showing you and telling you specifically how to use the tire pressure system in a Honda Odyssey van just like this one right here and this will be a full tutorial with easy instructions. Let's get into this. So just for reference this is a 2022 Honda Odyssey van and it is equipped with a very very cool tire pressure monitoring system. So first and foremost you want to get it, you want to get to the screen of the tire pressure monitoring system. So to do that, we want to get to the apps option over here. So to, to get to the apps apps option, I'm going to press the uh, home. Okay. And when I press the home button, I'm going to be able to choose which one I want to display. So I'm going to go to maintenance. So I'm going, I'm just using the arrows to look for maintenance. <clears throat> okay. There's maintenance right there. I'm going to push enter to go into the maintenance uh, screen. And then you have the option of going to either the oil life or the tire pressure. I want to go to the tire pressure. So I'm going to press enter and I'm going to go to the tire pressure screen. Just like that. Now, as you can see, all of my tires are pretty much good in terms of the pressure. They're all green. But what happens is, as you know, sometimes your tire might be low in pressure and it's going to turn to like a different color. I believe it'll turn to red and it'll show a lower number. OK, so here's the thing. Um, this is a cool system. So first and foremost, to use this system in terms of looking at it, you can look at your tire pressure at any time and monitor your tire pressure at any time just by going to this screen. The second way of using it is uh, the uh, fill. Um, I can't remember what the word is, but it's like it lets you know when you filled it up enough. So essentially, if your vehicle is on and the tire pressure screen is over here, okay, then you can go to fill up your tires. Okay, so like if the tire pressure screen is on, I don't know if the vehicle needs to be on, but the tire pressure screen needs to be on. Okay, I don't know if you could do it like in accessory mode. I'm not sure, but you need to be on the tire pressure screen. That's for sure. Okay, the vehicle might need to be on. It might not. I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> But essentially, you're going to fill up your tires, and when you've reached your fill point, okay, your desired fill point, the lights will flash on the vehicle, and it will beep, and it will let you know that you've reached the desired fill point. So how to use the system is you get onto the tire pressure screen, and you go and start filling your tire that you need to add pressure to, that you need to add PSI to, add air to, and when you fill it up enough, it's going to let you know, the vehicle will let you know that you filled it up enough. And even if you fill it up too much, it will let you know with a different sequence of beeps and, and lights. But when you fill it up enough, it's immediately just going to beep a certain number of times and lights will flash a certain number of times to let you know like that you filled it up enough. And then you can come inside of the car, of the van, and you can check the tire pressure. And that's it. That is how to use the tire pressure system in the Honda Odyssey van. Like I said, this is a 2022 Honda Odyssey van. It's equipped with this cool feature. Um, luckily, I've never had to use it. I got a flat tire once, but it, the, the tire was completely, you know, like I couldn't fix it myself, so I had to get it. Um, I had to, I had to put on the spare and bring it to like a local shop. So I've never had to use it, but I've seen it being used and it's pretty, pretty cool. I might do a demonstration in a separate video where like I'll intentionally deflate one of my tires and then and I'll try and use it to see how it works. But yeah, I'll probably do a separate video about that. So look forward to that and subscribe if you want to see that in the future. And that's it. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.